Hello guys, welcome back to Skyrim. In the last episode, we became a homeowner, and that is good. In this episode, we now need to Come make back some of the gold the we spent on becoming a homeowner, and the best way to do that you need to is the guild jobs. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to see this Can geezer here, who looks peace. like a zombie. His name is Malus Machius, and he has a job a man for us. Peace. So let's have a chat with Zombie Boy over here. So Maven, dude, Maven said you were expecting me. I'm going to keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard, and we're going to poison the mead. You have poison? No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. You know what I mean? Yep. How do I fit in? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Sounds fun. Clever. <laughs> Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. How do I Both get Both of the buildings are connected by tunnels made by the pests infesting the meter. There's an entrance to it in the basement storeroom. I've already removed the boards so the metery would get infested. That's where you should start. Okay. Sabjorn keeps that locked up tight. If you can get through that way, go right ahead. Okay, and... So let's get through, let's get this done. We're going down to the we're going down to the Honing Brew Meadery now, and that's gonna be our um, that's gonna be how we're gonna do the job. There's a little money making trick that was pointed out by my good friend Wayne of the Let's Play Cat Gaming channel. He put it up in a video a couple of weeks ago, and um, I obviously uh, the fact that I'm saying a couple of weeks ago goes to show you exactly how far in advance I'm filming this episode uh, but yeah um, a couple of weeks ago he pointed this out and we're gonna take advantage of this little trick because we do need a fair chunk of change to uh, replace the five grand we spent on our wooden shack believe me we're gonna make our house into something special but at the moment we don't have enough coins to rub together to start a fire. But why would we want to rub coins together to start a fire when we can shoot flames out of our hands? But point being, we need money and this mission pays good money. So logic ties together pretty well. So let's head down to the Honing Brew Meadery. Obviously the reason I wanted to buy the house, I wanted to go into this mission quite light on gear because I wanted to have plenty of carry space and I'll show you why in a moment because we're going to have to carry a fair chunk of stuff out of the meadery I'll pick up the odd plant along the way because I always pick up plants but we can now jump pretty well look how high we can jump but this isn't a jumping contest. We're obviously going in to do some nicking. So um, we will come back and steal your cabbages soon. But for the time being, we want to get over to the meadery and get the door open and get this mission started from Mr. Sabjorn. We can run pretty well. Uh, we can obviously. Uh, I'm going to equip our. I'm going to do our magic equips now. Um, we're going to cat. We're going to go with firebolt and double firebolt. I think. Yes, we'll do double firebolt. We'll pick up a bunch of that, and we can make. We can do some cooking in our new kitchen. But for the time being, I want to keep ourselves completely gear light, so we can just pick up what we need along the way. We're not carrying any weapons. We haven't even got the orc dagger anymore. 
And that's important to me because the lighter we are, the better. So where's the door? We're going to go in here. Door's over here, is it not? It isn't. It's over here. Um, can we jump up? No. Can we run round? We'll have to run over here. Back onto the track. Um, I think there was a, probably a faster way across country, but here's the front door. Let's go up to the front door and have a chat with Sabiorn. So let's enter the Honning Brew Meadery, where this mission takes place. There is a little boss in the caves, but he's going to be he's going to be cake with our with our very own magic power. He's a magic man, and we shoot from distance with huge fireballs. So I can't see him being a major issue for us. We are level 14, of course, and have some pretty powerful destruction magic. What are you gawking at? Hello. Can't you see I have problems here? Something wrong? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. Looks I'm right supposed to, me. to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. Right. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Will you? I might be able to help. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Okay, okay. No need to make rash decisions. <laughs> Here's half. You get the rest when the job's done. Fantastic. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently That'll eliminated happen. before... How do I permanently do this? I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant, Malice, handle it. But he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Yeah, we'll do that. You've got a deal. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Lent him a bit of gold some time ago. I knew he'd never be able to pay back. Ah! Nothing like free labor to make operating costs cheaper. You are quite the scumbag. Now I've got to clean up this mess. Hang on, what does he Was sell? Something... Take a look. Sells food, and he's got bread, carrots, elder cheese, red apple, hunting brew mead, which he sells for 52. It's only worth 20. So that guy is Remember, a proper business. You don't get paid. But we're going to open this door, we're going to walk in, we're going to turn around, and we're going to shut the door. Because this is where we can make some money. All of these things, barrels, are filled with hunting brew mead. We're going to nick it. He never comes in here. So we're going to nick all of his mead. The more we get, the more we can sell. To someone like Tanilia, who can fence stolen goods. So that's the, that's the plan in full. We're just going to nick as much honing brew mead as we can lay our light fingers upon. Uh, obviously we'll empty all of the barrels by going around the room. I've been stuck in these fences here. Uh, get out of here. I managed to get in here by jumping, didn't I? top of the barrel now. So we got we're gonna go around and we just got you know seven bottles from there bottles from there bottles from there any more some in there we can get over a hundred bottles of mead this way now we're not gonna drink the mead because it doesn't do much for us because it increases your stamina but then you've got low stamina recovery. I'd rather just do that with potions if I'm if I need a stamina heal but each bottle sells for 20 gold that door's shut there's no way he can catch us doing this so we'll just take as much honing brew mead as we can get that's why I wanted to come in with an empty uh, inventory for the sake of being able to carry as much mead as we can get the more we can get, the more gold we can get. And obviously the more gold we can get, 
we can pump that into our house, into other thing, other enterprise that we have to do. But we want to like do as much pinching as we can get when it comes to this mead. Apples are no use to me, and I can I can just pick them up from farms anyway. I usually do. So we've got all the mead in there. Just a couple of barrels over here. We want to check. I mean, I know it's stealing stuff, but you know it works. And from what I've read up and been told, uh. This stuff re regenerates after, over time. So, honing brew mead is a good thing to pin. I don't want to pick it. But I'll take the mead. There's a jug that's worth nothing. There's tons of bottles and stuff. And if you can find the honing brew special reserve, that's worth even more. The special reserve stuff is worth twice as much. It's worth five times as much as the normal stuff. So keep your eyes peeled. If you can find the good stuff, you're in an even better position than one might think. But the best thing to do is literally just run around, dash around here pick up as much mead as you can lay your fingers upon because each bottle's worth 20 gold and if you if uh, we'll see how many we've got when we finished our little um, uh, theft, 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 theft uh, enterprise uh, I want to see if we can get onto the top floor of this place actually because I believe there's something I can do up there uh, I also want to look around for more mead so I mean, we're in a mead, mead, set, mead creation place, a meadery, so uh, there's going to be plenty of mead lying around, and that's a good thing. But I want to see if I can get the key for this as well. So let's see what we can find. The key to the boilery, I think, is up here somewhere. Sneaking. Open this door. Because we've got the key to the honey brew meadery, so we'll take that. That's a good honey brew meadery. What's in here? Charcoal, clothesline, and some gold. We don't need to steal your gold. There's some clothes up here. There's a book. Wobber Jack. In uh, this end table is some gold and a roll of paper. Black Briar Mead, why is that in the, why have you got that under your bed, mate? You work at the Honing Brew Meadery, surely uh and there's a display case, what's in there? Is it empty? <coughs> is there somebody here? Clothes, minor clothes, boots. Um Boiled cream treat. Sabion's dresser requires key. Which I think we can get from him. Right? I'm not sure. Uh, if we can get the key though. Thief of Virtue! I thought that gave me a thieving level. It doesn't. Uh, right. Okay. We'll do this the old. We'll we'll run through. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. So let's close the door. Honing brew meadery. So we'll have some more mead. So how much mead have we picked up? Let's check that out. It's in the food, isn't it? We got a bottle of black briar that's worth twenty-five, and a hundred and eighty bottles of honing honing brew. So hundred and eighty-one bottles of honing brew and we'll obviously pick some more up in the underground area we can st we're still moving quite light because each because we've got 131 of our 305 carry weight filled so we can still pick up 
Now we can still pick up like uh, bits and pieces on the job from like the monsters we kill and the like, but we can enter the Honing Brew Meadery basement, and when we get to some sort of um, fence who can buy, who will buy all that stuff, we can sell it for around twenty a bottle, hundred and eighty bottles sold at 20 gold a bottle we'll have a couple of grand i would imagine i mean 10 bottles at 20 is 200 gold so 100 bottles at 20 is 2000 gold what the? Ah! They die. double fire blast whoops um yeah obviously there's dead skeevers in here so we are going to take their remains because, as you know, I make poisons out of that stuff. But while I'm down here, I will also keep an eye open for any open cases of Honingbrew mead. Because there might be some good stuff down here because... Well, look, there's another couple of bottles there. The more bottles we get, the more money we make. The more money we make... The better gear we can buy for our house. So, the logic exists to just steal as much mead as we can find while we are doing this mission. We're in a dungeon anyway, so... Normally we'd, um... We'd collect drops from enemies, right? So just consider this hunting brew mead as an extra drop we can pick up from dungeon chests. I'm frozen. This is not good. Oh crap. Um, have we got any weapons on us? We'll switch to arrows, I think. Put an arrow in your face. I'm gonna just quickly nip into my potions. Take a potion of health. And should have an anti disease potion. We should cure disease. A potion of uh, healing. We'll just use arrows for this in the future. Of course, the more any bottles of mead we see lying around, we will take because we can use them for uh, nefarious selling. That's another four bottles. We'll probably have a couple of hundred bottles by the end, and that's a you. That's good because obviously, the more we have, the more we can sell. A couple of spiders down here as well. So we'll just shoot some flaming arrows at them. Because obviously archery is a skill we're also working on. So we can just stand back and bomb them, bombard them with arrows. We've got a frostbite spider here. He's got some dwarf arrows in, it, in him. Those are dwarven arrows that I fired. Obviously, we'll take the arrows back and the venom from these creatures. Uh, but remember, we also want to keep an eye out for any cases of mead we may be. Any bottles or trays of mead we find along the way. The more we collect, the more money we can make. The money is good to have. So... Let's go into the next area. We'll slip down the side here. And whatever's going to attack us, we're ready to bow craft it. Uh, just keep our eyes open, of course. <coughs> we got caught in a trap. That's never good. But we'll be all right. Ah. Ow, we got caught in another trap. At least they're off now. Um, there's another crate. So let's try open that. There's a trap there. But it missed us. The uh, swinging mace. But we'll slip down the side here. Is that a 
openable thing now. Let's go into sneak mode. Because I think this is where the main big boss is, so... We'll put an arrow in the skeever's head! <laughs> we'll put a couple of arrows in the skeever's heads. We'll take our arrows back, of course. But our target is over there. So time to switch back to magic. Our destruction magic. He shoots... He shoots lightning, I believe. So we'll use firebolt. But we're also going to switch to restorative healing on that one. We'll have a quick look at that. See if we can get a shot on him. We're using fire, so he's using fire. So let's change our our tactic to destruction lightning bolts. I'm not gonna like being hit with lightning. Come on, you nutcase! Come on, Hamlet! Let's do this. I'm, I'm now out of magic, so time for some potions. We'll take a draft of health. Uh, we will um, take a potion, take some potions of healing, and we're also going to take some potions of magic. He's having to fight us with physical punches and kicks. He's got healing magic as well. Bit of lightning to the face. Hamlin goes down. We'll have his 11 gold. We'll have his journal. We'll take his silver ingot. Uh, fur armor. Um, no, not really. We'll take the necklace of the squire. Yeah, we'll take his armor as well. Um, we've got plenty of space for carrying stuff. Uh, we want to check any bodies around here. Because any because the, we did kill some skeevers with arrows and stuff so we obviously want that stuff back but we also want to continue over here where he's got a potion of magic and a chest we've got plenty of lock picks so we'll unlock the chest take the gold take the potion of healing off the top we'll read the three thieves three thieves book and we'll also we'll also take it He's got an alchemy lab, which we can't... There's nothing really we can do there, because we've already seen an alchemy lab very recently. There's a skeever, I think, there. No. Um, is that a crate of mead? No, there's only mead bottles around here. Is this all the mead we're getting? Looks like it. As I said, there's an alchemy lab there, but we don't need the alchemy lab. We need to get down to the dungeon area beneath here, which I think is over here somewhere. Let's um, let's change our magic spells. Obviously, we'll win the healing magic, and we're good. We're now going to quickly switch over to illusion, alteration, and candlelight. We've got an, a lightning spell and a lighting spell. It certainly, I find, helps for finding little crevices in this area. But we want to get down here to the bottom uh, ba -ba -ba, where's the opening we can go down a bit and then to the left through here up here a little bit and we're in the, the next room now I believe there's the boilery but we don't want to go to the boilery just yet we need to poison the nest don't we the nest is down here somewhere I think Those are off now, so I think it's down here, right? 
go right down the back here into this area. This is where Hamlin was, I think. Uh, let's put that lighting spell on because that really does help to get things done. I think this is the nest. It's uh, up here, isn't it? Where's the nest? I can never find things in this bit. Um, in these dark caves. I thought they were down here. Oh, aren't they? Uh, don't mind me, I'm just being stupid. It's just here somewhere. Hang on. It's pointing, us in, pointing me in this direction, isn't it? Is this the nest? Do I even have the poison? Is that a thing? I thought this was the nest. Maybe it's actually in the other room. Um, poison. It is literally right next to us, so why can't we see it? Oh, that's the poison the mead. Hang on. Poison the nest. Uh, poison the honey brew vat is there. Poison the nest uh, should be like there. Should be here, right? Did we do it? Yes. There we go. Completely poison nest. It's in the middle of that hay bale. Okay. Let's put, this, let's put the light spell on one more time. It lasts 60 seconds every time we do it. But now we're inside the hunting brew meadery boilery. We can check for some more of the more mead uh, to nick if we see any. Alas, we don't. So let's open the door. To the Honing Brew Boilery and let's let's see if there's any mead in here we can steal before we uh, before we do the poisoning job because if any this is where we're gonna find the good stuff yeah, there's some more bottles there's a bowl of Honing Brew mead but we obviously don't we obviously don't want the uh, bottles of the. Uh, we obviously don't want the bowl, but we do want the mead. So, any bottles of honey brew mead we can find. I'll take the sweet roll just because, you know, that would be nice to eat. Um, but obviously, we'll have a quick look around in corners, really. And there's a large sack of tomatoes. We may as well. Uh, large sack here. Uh, add the apples out of that large sack. Let's put the lighting spell back up. What's this? A flagon. Don't need that. Uh, there's a large sack of apples. We'll take them. Just because we can. Uh, there is a honeymoon brew mead barrel. So that's another seven bottles right there. A uh, bunch of goblets down here. There's a barrel there, isn't it? Yeah. Another four bottles of mead. wardrobe gold fine clothes we'll have the gold necklace as well while we're down here we'll take the hunting room key as well um, look under here There's some more barrels so another seven bottles we don't want the brew we'll have another three bottles of mead though another, bar another barrel up there we'll have some more another barrel number four Large sack of salt. Don't want the basket. Um, that's the ladder up to the top floor. So we've done all the stuff we can do on the bottom floor. Let's go up to the top floor. I'm going to put the goblet back. Cast iron pot. We'll have the gold. I don't want the goblet. Don't want that. I don't want that. Um... Spell. Uh, there's a seat bench there we can sit on. More goblets. So we could take the goblets, but we don't need them. We'll have some potatoes. Uh, blah, 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 nothing there. There's a sack empty. Uh, a honey, uh, another barrel of meat. That's another four barrels. Uh, there's another one. Another four. Sack of carrots. I'm not going to say no, am I? 
More potatoes. Another barrow. More for another four. Another sack. Salt piles. A chest. Need to apprent we've got it's an apprentice lock. So let's pick the lock. Bear with me while I just work out the combination. The right position. Got it. What's in here? Gold. We'll leave the 11 gold. Cheese. A dresser. Clothes, boots, shoes. But we don't, we, we're here. This is what we came to do. Activate the lid. And poison the mead. We've got to go back to Sabion. But let's jump off there. Down to the floor. And I think we can go through this door. Which opens out into Skyrim. Because we found the key on the wall. And then we can just nip round the front. Instead of having to go all the way through that cave system. But we've got... I'll check how many, how much mead we've got in a second. And you guys will see why what we just did is a great idea. And just think on it financially. Now the other useful thing is, after this mission is completed, Malus Macus... More barrows, oh... I forgot there's barrows of it outside as well, isn't there? We'll have them. Yes, there are barrows of it outside the meadery as well, aren't there? So before I do that count, I'm just going to nip around these barrows a bit. Uh, nip around the outside and just check we've got everything we can. You guys will see in a moment why I don't particularly care about robbing the meadery. Rather lavender. Uh, done all these, haven't we? Um, is that what I thought it was? Hope not. Barrow here. Number four bottles. I really just hear what I think I heard. No, it's been mind playing tricks on me, I think. Obviously, Sabjorn is in there, but we want to just, uh, just have a quick lap around the outside. Just to double check. We've got everything we can. Seems pretty clear. So let's stop out front. Got the mountain flower. Now, you see, if I go into my items, food, we've got obviously all that stuff. We got this bottle of black briar, but we've also got right 271 bottles of honing brew mead. Right, 271. Each bottle sells for 20 gold so 100 would sell for 2000 gold 200 would sell for 4000 gold so we're talking uh, we're talking close on the five grand i spent on my house pretty much back just from one trip round the meadery and the, glo the, the wondrous bit of it is, is it respawns every two days. So every two days in game, we can come back and have another five grand. Easy. But I'm not going to do that completely because I'm not going to do that often. I'm just going to do it this once. Um, I can't wait to see Savjorn squirm. I mean, there's loads of bottles in here, but let's talk to Savjorn. Was something we discussed unclear? Job finished. Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. What about my pay? You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Yeah, sure. Well, Savjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, 
How about I get a taste of some of your mead? I help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. Have I turned on the, uh... Should we go to settings a minute? Um... I do like subtitles. By the eight. What what's in this? Um No, we don't want to save. What am I doing? What am I doing? No. Cancel. Um I want to double check this a minute because it's bothering me. Uh Oh right, yeah. Dialogue and general subtitles. We're on both on, don't we? So we can hear what's going on. I, I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see, see to it that you remain in what irons is it for the now? rest of your days. We have a tasting. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. Nice sword. You, you're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you, you're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. You'll see how quickly your memory clears in a city. So prison. Sabion's going to jail. Now, Move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said move. <laughs> Farewell, Sabion's Sabion. going to jail. And now Sabion has gone, we can speak to Malice. I don't think that could have gone any better. I agree. Anything else you need before you head back to Rifton? Um, I need to look at his books. So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome yep. to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Okay. Here, this should help. <laughs> what are you doing with this place? Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. And that's useful. He's going to be a useful fence. Remember to... I can't believe that worked. Okay. Don't want to steal anything I while can't he's looking. That worked. Let's open the door, nip back in, shut the door behind us. In case any of the, the mead has grown back, some of it actually has. But I want to get up to his office now, which I think is upstairs. Um, let's keep our eyes open for any more mead we can pinch while we're up here, because we may as well have whatever we can. I think it's in here. Yeah. Open this one. Yeah, this is the office. There's his dresser. We've got the key to his dresser now, so we can open it. He's, we'll have his gold. And his permissory notes. We'll take that. Identify a silent partner. We'll have the cream treats. Why not? We've come all this way. Uh, clothes ain't worth nothing. Goblet, Wobba Jack, no, end table, what's in there? Take his gold. Uh, I mean, he's not coming back, is he? So we may as well take his fine boots. His apple, his goat cheese. Now, I think when we go downstairs, um, I'm going to take the Alto wine, because that does actually sell for a nice, for a nice wedge, doesn't it? So... 
um, yeah, it is probably worth taking. Um, we'll have the auto one in this. It is probably worth uh, taking. Though. There's nothing in the display case. Um, what's that? Have need of Sinric. Let's have a look at that. This is my third and final offer. I feel I'll be more than generous for the amount I've tried to buy your meadery. I'll nick that as well, because I think that might be useful. Um, Dagger on there, it's worth 10. Why not? We're going to fence this stuff anyway. So, is this place open as a fence post? Remember to put in a good word. We're going to go downstairs. We got everything we can? Yeah, we might. I think we're good. Where's the door now? Um. I think technically now this place belongs to Blackbriar, but point still stands. We can come back here if we need to. Does he work as a fence now? I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him. Yeah. And saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. I'm going to leave and then come back in and I think he will now be set up as a fence. Which will mean we'll be able to sell all of our stolen mead to him and have our multiple thousands of gold. Hoping he's got that much gold to give us. Yes, hope he carries that much. If not, it's going to be a series of skipping two day periods to make sure we do it. And I can also, I can always buy stuff from him, you know, because he will have stuff that I oh, want. There's a guard outside. I'm not going to go near him. He might know that we've got loads and loads of nicked mead on us, and that could be a problem for us. So we want to, want to lose this mead if we can, probably. But we're going to go back and speak to Maven. She's in Riften anyway, so we can fast travel from the doorstep of this place. But I want to see if Malice is set up as our, um, as our fence yet. Here. I can't believe that worked. Seemingly not. Well, since we're going back, since we're probably going to be going back into, um, since we're probably going to be going back to Rift, since we're going back to Rift, and anyway, we may as well go to the Thieves Guild and fence it with Tanilia, I think. But we're going to go back to Maven first, right? Well, let's do that and let's finish this quest. So, I know it's a long episode, but it's a fun episode. It's good fun. Me shooting flames at stuff underground. But what does that guard want? Why is he standing outside the meeting? He's not there. He's not in there. Chicken. Some mountain flowers. But we need to go back and see Maven Blackbriar. What else have we got to do on this part of the mission? Maven Blackbriar is in Riften. So what I'm, I'm fast travelling to the Thieves Guild because I need to fence some of this stuff with uh, Tanilia. But we'll do that and other stuff in the net. We'll do that. I'll do that off camera. And I'll see you guys back in the pub where we'll be speaking to Maven Blackbriar about our next bit of work for the Thieves Guild. So thank you guys for um, watching. I'll see you in the. I'll see you in the next episode of Skyrim. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.